But with this whole corona issue that came through, and uh, yeah. you are a medical practitioner. Yeah. I mean, tell us. Um, it's we know it's still around. It's still with us. But then at the at the time that it came into Ghana. Mm. I mean, how, how did you feel as, as a frontline health worker? And tell us what really you saw, probably, you know, from, from that. Well, point. I mean, uh, Charlie, being human and not to lie about it, I mean, we all, at least, uh, I was frightened, mm. you know, because you have to go to the front line. That's mm. the way be there you do work for, yeah. you know what I mean? The same thing happened when Ebola came, yes. you know, when Ebola was doing that thing around Africa, you know, um, you have to go to work and face it. I mean, there's no... <laughs> you can't stay at home. That is your work. That's what you've sworn to do. You know, you swear an oath that how that is bad, what you want to do. How bad is it? Or should I say, how bad was it? It did was... You, did you contact any... any yes, business? I mean, I, I... One of the first six cases that was diagnosed in Ghana, I diagnosed it. Wow. Yeah, man. You know, so I contacted it from then and I kept on contacting it. You know what I mean? And every time you contact it, you're like, have I picked up the infection? You know, I had close colleagues who, who actually lost their lives from, mm. from this. Mm. I mean, colleagues right here in Ghana, you mm. know, and it was a sad time, you know, and it's not over yet. 